Hey everyone, this guy's up and welcome back and today we're going to be looking at a fully automatic azalea tree generator. Alright, so over here we've got a small uh, stone generator which, as you would guess, generates stone. Uh, that gets pushed over here and is converted to moss. We've got a dispenser back there which bone meals whatever is in front of it. And if you get an azalea bush, it will grow. Over here we've got another moss block which is bone meal consistently to basically spread the moss. I am... Um, to the front and if an azalea bush shows up it's going to be bone mealed like a soul and uh, yeah it um, you get a tree and the wood and the rooted dirt down below is pulled out and uh, ready for harvesting as you can see it's happened once again i'm getting very lucky in this recording so yeah you can either manually uh, break it yourself or you can have some tnt dupers to set that off or you could just run through with some shears to get some of these beautiful azalea leaves. You could also use a hoe as you would expect. Alright, so let's actually have a look at how this thing works. So over here, the note block is what actually serves as the on and off switch for the farm. Uh, it basically is responsible for setting off the clock for the stone generator. So as you can see, we've got some redstone there running into some repeaters. Uh, Photic repeater and a few more. There'll be a tutorial after this, so no need to worry, you can skip ahead if you want that. And yeah, in front um, we've got the uh, stone basically pushing out the moss block. Now, over here we've got the observer which detects when the stone is generated and activates these pistons. The pistons are responsible for clearing up the air above the moss block because if there's a carpet or a bush, uh, the moss doesn't actually spread. Now down here, uh, we've got a little bit more redstone into a one tick repeater which powers the dispenser on top. Um, basically the dispenser is responsible for spreading the moss to uh, the diagonal, as I mentioned. Over here we've got another dispenser which is for the growing of the trees and that is fed by these two hoppers which are filled with bone meal. We've got a comparator output from that hopper and the compactor actually switches off as soon as the hopper uses up even a single piece of bone meal. Uh, that's thanks to the um, torch right there. And uh, basically what that does is it uh, retracts the piston interrupting the clock that is going down over here for the azalea tree to grow. Now uh, that redstone is also responsible after a small delay uh, this piston extends which rejuvenates, rejuvenates the signal. Over here, this hopper is currently being locked by the same torch. And basically what that does is it creates a bit of time before the hopper starts refilling. And that is facilitated by uh, the sticky piston with the gold block attached to it. Uh, so after it detects, it waits for a bit and then lets the hopper start filling up. Otherwise, the detection wouldn't work. Now, over here, we've got the yellow circuit, and the yellow circuit is responsible for detecting when uh, to switch off the farm. Uh, it switches off the farm if that hopper actually uh, empties out, or you could just manually switch it off, which I think would obviously be the more likely situation, especially if you've got a good bone meal farm. So here, we've actually uh, pulling out two pieces of wood, because if you had grass down there, as you can see, it doesn't uh, grow, but instead it just keeps on using up your bone meal. So it's very, very important uh, that you pull out two blocks instead. All right, so back here, we've got the detection for that. Um, one second, let's go into spectator. So you can see there's an observer which detects when the tree is pushed across. Uh, we've got a two-tick repeater, which basically pushes the block out and a four tick repeater uh, which activates the other sticky piston which pulls it out. The reason you're using this is because you can't have uh, normal pistons right next to the tree. It actually prevents them from growing. And yeah, we've got a few extra pistons which we shall actually look into how they work later on. And down here we've got some minecart hoppers which uh, picks up all the other stuff that you can get which you can bone meal once again. So let's actually get down into how to build this thing. Alright, so we're going to start off with a piston, uh, place a few blocks like so, and we're going to place a waterlogged stair. Now the stair is actually really important because what that actually allows us to do is place redstone below the stair 
um, and yeah, this is a pretty tight fit. So yeah, so here is our stone generator. You can go ahead and break that block because that's where the stone's going to be coming out of. Uh, an observer over there, which basically detects the flow of the stone and a block over there. Now the moss is going to go onto that block. So we're going to place a piston over here and over here on the diagonals. And now we should just quickly build the off switch. So a node block coming out of two blocks over there. Observer, which sets off the clock. And this is what uh, interrupts the signal. So next up, uh, we're going to go back to the moss clearing part, which just requires three pieces of redstone there. And now back to the stone generator, just place two solid blocks like so. Come back here and place a moss block and a dispenser filled with bone meal running into that. Except you're going to come down below and place a dropper pointing upwards and that's where you can fill up your bone meal for that. Here we've got another dispenser. This is for actual growing of the trees. And yeah, now we just got to connect them all up. So place a few blocks here, four tick repeater, um, some blocks here. So as you can see, that's where uh, the stair comes into play. So you can actually place a piece of redstone down there. Another four tick repeater here, go up a block, uh, then place sort of L shape, two pieces of redstone dust and another four tick repeater. All right. So next up, as you can see, I've actually uh, gone ahead and placed down some hoppers filled with bone meal. I'm going to place a solid block on top of that and a normal block down there. And a comparator, which is essentially reading out the signal from that comparator, uh, from that hopper. I'm going to place a torch and a redstone dust running into that and a redstone dust back out here, which is going to switch off, as I said, once you use any items in the hopper. I place a piston facing downwards, which interrupts the signal, as I said. Now coming off from the torch, we are going to place um, a repeater running into a block. It doesn't need to be a gold block, honestly. Place a slime block coming off the side of it and a sticky piston uh, pointing upwards. And we shall then take an output from this redstone, sorry, from that block. Four tick repeater, go down a bit. And yeah, now it's just a matter of connecting the piston. So yeah, as you can see, the piston's just extended. Uh, next up, we need the rejuvenator. So we place a temporary block there, grab an observer and place it behind it. And you want to place a sticky piston, which extends to stick to the observer. All right, next up, the uh, wood extraction. So we place a wood block there. That's very important. It has to be a wood block. Need not be spruce, uh, but has to be a wood block. I've also set up the observer clock, which sets off the dispenser. Uh, yeah, so it's an observer clock, which runs into a block there. So now an observer, which basically detects um, the pushing of the rooted dirt and the wood. Uh, block, four tick and a two tick. Uh, two pistons down here, which basically funnels the rest of the wood and the dirt into this line. As you can see, this is how it activates. So actually set that off again, so you can see the pushing and the pulling back there. All right, next up, the fail safe. We're going to place a block over there of, of the first topper that's directly under the chest. Redstone torch, and that basically just flips it right through. Now, I've actually made a bit of a mistake. You want that block to go down there because otherwise the observer will actually be powering that redstone. And you've got a lever here to switch the farm, switch the bone meal on and off and the no block to actually set the farm off. So as you can see, it's just started growing. So anyways guys, thanks for watching. This means guys, and I'm out, so Chef now. I shall see you in the next video.